Hello guys, welcome back to Let's Play Never Winter Nights 2. Well, uh, it's been some time for me that I had some that I had uh, time to play this game. So I don't really. Uh, I remember where am I? This is Amonjaro's Haven, and we came to find him. We came to. This is Amonjaro's Haven. And uh, we are supposed to open this door. I remember that we had some kind of trials, but I don't really remember what they were. I'm just going to go forward, look around, because I remember not uh, investigating this place before, and I already have some things over here. Hmm. Okay, let's fight. I need to put the voice down a little bit. Okay. Kasavir, do you wish to help us or not? Okay. Let me just try to do issue command, broadcast command, uh, no attack nearest. Talking. Let's get to the action. Okay, that's for all of you. So, uh, more elementals, they weren't here before, so this is, I think, our exit, this is Geyser, Shaman, oh, I remember, there was a Shaman that we needed to talk to, and a Brazer, so, about these Brazers, hmm, the Brazer remains unlit, maybe we are missing something, let's keep looking around. Wait a minute. We just killed those fire elementals. Healer's kit. Maybe we will find something. Scroll. And. Silver necklace. Really? Nothing for that? How are we going to light them? I remember trying magic. I'm starting to remember really well. It's been some time. Yes! It's been some time, but I, I remember the game, of course, and what I've been doing. Let's try that elemental. Yay! But <laughs> not so yay. Things are attacking at me. Let's move, move, move. Come on, start attacking. What's happening there? Oh, oh. Okay, you're attacking fire elementals with fire. Should I touch this again? The razor has already been lit, I know, okay. And more over there. Alright. I think we are done. Oh. oh, a lot more over there. Mm. Don't go after them, let them come to us, I think. Okay. Guys, go and help Kasavir. <laughs> or not. Shadow Master. Okay, Kasavir, you're coming back. Right? Damn it, man, just come back. Uh, shoot, come on, okay, follow me. Everybody, fall in. I'll show you the way. They're too far away. Let them stay there, okay? We have work to do over here. Oh my god. <sighs> He's relentless. <sighs> okay, okay, let's just go and kill them. Whatever. <laughs> now you attack, Kasavir. <laughs> Damn it. Broadcast command. Uh, attack nearest. Come on. Are we done? There's something up there. Let's go and look. But, 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 wait. Let's rest first. Let's not be silly. We should rest 
before fighting. Hmm. What is this? What do we have here? Huh. What am I supposed to do here? I am guessing that we cannot pass those walls. And I don't see anything glowing. Huh. Railway? Interesting. Wasn't expecting that. I don't think we can go there too. Um, is there a way for me to go down there? Okay, I have to go all the way around it seems, which is kind of silly. But let's just go. Ah, 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 what, what, what? Oh, suddenly I'm down here. Okay, let's look at this. Huh. Chandra says, hey, look at that. Smells like eggs left out in the sun too long though. <laughs> Is it kind of, I don't know, uh, water coming from underground? Let's see, intelligence. That's the smell of sulfur, which means we need to be careful where we walk. Hmm. Okay, let's use that. Bishop says, hmm, yeah, you're right. Continue. Bishop says, gazers like that sometimes tend to spit well an acid into the air and into the ground. So watch where you walk and hope you have thick soled boots. Chandra says, after you. <laughs> I mean, uh, okay, let's be careful about this. I see that maybe I should just like try to... But what am I coming here for? What am I supposed... Oh! You see a gazer. Dexterity tried to catch some of the spray in the container. Why am I doing this? Tumble, attempt to dodge the spray and collect water from the gazer. I think my dexterity is better than my tumble. Success! Yes! You definitely collect some of the acid the water without getting splashed. Chandra says, you love living every day like your last, don't you? The acid couldn't, could have burned you pretty bit badly. Okay. Jorah has learned the path of determination. This was one of our tests. Oh. <laughs> and the test fails. Yeah. Oh my god. That was lame. Damn it! That was so lame! Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, can I just rest now? Am I going to follow them or not? Okay, okay. I'm back. Mm. Okay, let's slit this one too because we have another parallel pal. Sure. Uh, let me move backward a little bit and help Bishop and then Kara. Okay, we have another blazer, I think. Alexandrit. Rose, gold, and blah blah blah. Um, what else? No, not really anything. Loving fire essence. Fiery heart. What would I do with the heart? Get that. Scroll, potion, gold. Sure. Let's slip the other one too. Come on. Okay. Let's start with that one. Or this one that's attacking me. I'm trying to move away from it, but it's chasing after me. Maybe I should 
uh, try using a melee weapon, like change it when this happens. I don't really want to, but... <laughs> okay, done with that too then. Another scroll... Razor... Alright! Alright! And let's get that. And up on that hill, I think... The Shaman. <laughs> let's go talk to him. I remember some kind of story about him that he killed people or something. What was this about? I think we will now know when we talk to him. Hi. Hmm. Let's talk. Hmm, he's a human. I know why you have come, strangers. I stand before you unarmed, helpless. What will you do? Okay, let's talk. The golems, golem said that you were a threat. Is this true? Let's ask. Shaman says, to my people, I will be a savior. To everyone else, I will be doom and despair. I ask again, what will you do? Hmm. But why are you a threat to everyone else? Uh, I should have read about this. Can I try to open my journal like this? Nothing far well. Oh my god! This is not what I wanted to do. Oh, now he's going to attack me? He's going to attack. I wanted to just get out of the conversation and come back to him after reading about it. Whatever. This is not what I was expecting. But I guess I'll face the consequences. Wow! What the hell? Mm, so we need to do something about this. I drink a potion and I give drinks to Bishop. Do you have any potions with you? No. So let me give you some then. Uh, cure serious ones, cure critical ones. Okay, you can have that. Take some. Okay, let's go for it. Both of you drink and we do this. Oh my god. See you all. Okay. So uh I'm back. I had to replay the events of the whole episode because I didn't have a save backup for it. So um I'm going to rest right now and then save the game and then we are ready to go and face the shaman once more so uh, I'm going to check out my journal about that empty vial path of sight path of righteousness near the entrance to Amonjaro's haven you encountered a guardian uh, according to the guardian, you will have to walk three paths before you may enter the haven. Uh, you, to complete the path of righteousness, you must kill a shaman who meditates on the highest point of nearby hill. The guardian says that the shaman will one day be responsible for a wave of destruction and that killing him now would only be for the greater good. But he didn't do anything yet. That's wrong. Huh. But he's going to attack me if, if I try to uh, move back, right? Stay back from him. Whatever. Let's just try to talk to him again. Hello. Yeah, the same thing. You've done nothing wrong. I'm not going to kill you. Kasavir says, I agree. This one has done nothing wrong. Let us not do it justice, injustice by attacking him. 
and of course Bishop disapproves, we are not going to attack him, mercy will be the death of you and us. Chandra says good, I wasn't feeling too good about fighting him. And Shaman says and yet you know that I may ultimately be responsible for many deaths, this is truth. <sighs> I am said I'm not going to kill you. I said I'm not going to kill you. It isn't right, no matter what may happen in the future. Very well. Face the consequences of your inaction. Yeah, sure. He attacks at me anyway. Wow. Okay, let's try to do this immediately. Because many will come. Let's do it again. And again. I hope this time we will succeed. Casavir is already down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is happening so quickly. Uh, we need some... What was this? Shield? Come on, help me! Oh my god, it's me and Bishop again. What the hell? Uh, I shouldn't have let... Uh... Not working. How the hell am I supposed to defeat this guy? See you all. Okay. So I have some buffs on me this time. I'll try this again. Hopefully it's going to work. Right over here. Uh, let's do this. Again, again, no waiting, okay? Yes, yes, to the action. Well, well. It looks like we have some new I told you spring. not that, but this. Bishop, fight. You do that? You know nothing, Academy living cantrip casting soft. Ah, uh, sure. We need that again. Ah, oh, please work this time. Enemy spot. They can't hide from me. Just keep attacking, keep attacking. Looks like we have more land. Ah! Uh, please, please work this time. Why aren't you attacking? Bishop! Help! Out of ammo! Okay. Okay, we are going to win this time. And I can't believe that Bishop is out of ammo. I remember giving him lots of ammo. Maybe I forgot? Oh my god, I think I forgot. <laughs> Sorry there. But at least we did it this time. Sorry. You'll be fine now. <laughs> okay, let's take those. So I think we can open the door now. Ooh, I forgot some loot. That's something I never do. How interesting. <laughs> okay. Was it this way? Or that way? I think that way. Yes, I see the golem.
Hello, I'm back. So you have returned. Mm. We have the vial of burning water. What do we do with it? It is proof of your accomplishment, nothing more. Your willingness to suffer much for such an insignificant thing speaks well of you. Huh? I refuse to kill the shaman. And the guardian says, for what reason did you stay your hand? Mercy, uncertainty, cover this. It is unfortunate. It is fortunate that you survived the consequences. You and many others may not be so lucky in the future. The braziers uh, are all lit and the shadows are all dead. Well done. Do not rely on sight alone. If you sense a threat, trust your instincts and use other means to root out that which hides from you. Okay. You have completed the test set before you. However, your words and deeds alone are not proof in themselves that you possess the blood of the master. Chandra says, oh god, my grandfather must have loved his privacy too much, I think. <laughs> and Guardian says, shed a drop of your blood on the pedestal and the way shall open. Chandra says, are you sure you're ready for this? If uh, it was this hard getting in, who knows how long it will take to get back out. Very long, probably. Chandra, only do this if you want, okay? Yeah. And Chandra says, all right, I mean, we've come all this way, right? Watch my back in case this summons something bad. Okay. Uh-oh. There. It's done. Now what? Huh. Uh, where's Chandra? Damn. Okay, let's get in. Huh. Memphism? Uh, I still have uh, have the orb he gave me. Okay, he told me that we were going to meet through again, right? Huh, what what happens if I Huh <laughs> No, nothing. Yes. Oh, greetings my friend. Huh Hey, look at that face. Continue. Memphism says, I will say it is a surprise to see you, but alas, the long ages I have existed in Bator have made it so that nothing really surprises me anymore. Hmm. What are you doing here? Memphism says, you find me bound once more against my will. This time my cage is larger, larger and more secure. Hmm, I freed you and yet here you are. You have some explaining to do. <laughs> he, I don't think he has he's he owes me that, but Okay, maybe can I can free you using your true name? Manphasm says, I'm afraid not. There is a strong enchantment here that prevents me from being banished, willingly or otherwise. The dark warlock who summoned the demons to the Githyanki complex where we first met has made this place his lair. From a laboratory at the center he commands the energy he siphons from the demons and devi devils held captive here. Ah. Who is this warlock? What's his name? Manfazim says, you of all people should know the power of names. This warlock wears anonymity like a cloak to shield himself from his enemies. But I think you know more about him than you let on, right? He says, if you're implying that I have been less than honest with you, you are correct. The warlock is the master of Zaxis, and I, as well as the others here. Wow! Whoa, what a warlock! <sighs> it was the warlock, not the Githyanki, who summoned me to the caves. Should Zaxis have failed, I was to keep the Githyanki bottled up at the portal. 
When you arrived, I saw a way to escape my bonds. However, I suspected you would not help me if you knew who held my rings, so to speak. Huh. Unfortunately, shortly after my escape, the warlock found me again and his time and this time he ensured my bonds were unbreakable. Mm hmm Okay. So is there a way to free you, assuming of course that I even want to free you, Mephism? He says only the warlock himself could free me, or one who is a blood descendant of Amonjero. Oh, such a person could command the power of this place, but it is my understanding that Amonjero's line has died out. I mean, we have Chandra over here. And my husband said, it, it appears you know something I did not. For once I had wondered how you were able to enter this place. But if you brought Chandra here, where is she? I do not see her among you. She just disappeared as we entered. And Memphism says, you must find her. She is in great peril here. Why? Why? She's a Jero? Shouldn't she be the safest of all here? Memphism says, I've told you all I can about this matter. I fear I may have already said too much. If you really want to help me, you will tell me everything I want to know. And Memphism says, I do not intend to slight you, but I see a much larger picture than you do. Much of the knowledge I possess could do more harm than good. I will help you as I am able. I do not know where Chandra is, but I hope she will find her way to me before encountering the other demons and dev devils here. Ooh. Uh, can you tell me anything about the other fiends? Manphasm says, I can tell you all too. There is Bloden, a leader among the Scooby. She is a violent as she is seductive. Be careful. Mm. The other is Balbassian, a Balor so confident in his power that he does not bother to surround himself with minions like the others. He especially scorns the presence of females. Ha. Most of the demons and devils here use their minions to fight each other, though such activity is pointless. Trapped in these summoning circles, they cannot be harmed, nor can they harm each other. So why did they do it? He says, the small scuffles in this place are just smaller aspects of the blood war. <laughs> Tell me about it. He says, it is the ultimate conflict of love versus chaos between the nine hells and the abyss. Though the battles usually take place in grey waste of Hades, the blood war can occur anywhere that demons and devils converge. Wow, this place exploits the strife between demons and devils. Great energy is created by the constant tension between opposites here and that energy is harnessed to empower the master of this place. Wow, okay. Hmm. I thought that this place was supposed to be a retreat for a court warlock. No? And Manfasm says, whatever it may have been before, it has been transformed into this prison. If you ever wish to leave this place, you must get into the laboratory which lies at the center of this area. You see the portal in the corner? It allows me to summon servants from my home plane. Should I wish it, the others have similar portals in their rooms. It is possible for me to subvert the portal's power to allow it to do other things like take you into the laboratory, but my power alone isn't enough. You must convince three others to help you. That will be no easy task as the other fiends here may, may attempt to thwart or manipulate you. Hmm, I should be careful then. Alright, how nice. <laughs> how can I convince them? He says, there is no simple answer to your question. The other fiends here will be reluctant to help you unless it serves their interest. But you are in a unique position. You may roam these halls with relative freedom while they are trapped. Mm. And yeah, explain me more. The demons and devils continue their age-old battle 
even here pitting their minions against each other, putting one thing in a compromising position may convince another to help you. I've done what I can, go quickly and be on your guard. Okay. Oh, so you opened the portal for me and the others need to do the same, I think. Alright, okay guys, I'm going to end it over here. I'm out of time. This is going to be really interesting, so let's meet again. Next time. Bye.